on week three of the decluttering exercise. And actually, I've got quite a lot done this week. Done a lot in the garage. I'm starting on this cupboard. But let me update you on what's been happening. And welcome back. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Zoe and I am selling my house and everything that I own to go traveling full time. And this week I've been very busy sorting the garage out so I can get ready to host a garage sale. So as I told you last week, I was having my photographs taken for the brochures to sell my house. And so I was trying to get the garage into some sort of order the week before but then because I had to get rid of everything that was on show in the house it kind of got full again uh, with stuff that I couldn't hide under the beds or wouldn't fit anywhere so it became a bit of a mess so then this week once they'd taken the photographs I came back in here and what I did was I took out everything that I didn't want to sell. I say everything, most things. I've got a few garden tools left at the back behind everything, but um, that seemed to be the easiest thing to do. So as you will recall, this was the garage as it was before I started. So this is where all of the business files were. <laughs> And I cleared them all out and started putting things on the shelves instead and that for sale. And when I sorted out those files, I just boxed them up and put them here to the side because I have to keep them for so long under company law. And I have nowhere else to put them right now. And the rest of the garage, well, I've just been putting things in that I'm going to sell, but it's a lot tidier. You've got to be impressed with how tidy it is now compared to what it was. Then over here I had a lot of my son's belongings. So he had a DJ kit, he had some, God, I'm still tripping over things, he had some ice hockey um, equipment so I took that out and I boxed, started boxing his stuff up for him and then what I've been doing is going around the house and bringing in the things to start selling them and uh, like, as you can see like I've been just putting stickers on them and the reason I put like stickers with prices on things is if I don't sell them at the garage sale then at least they're ready to be boxed up and I can take them straight to um, car boot sales. Now, my friend has kindly offered to come and help me run this, which is really kind of her, and uh, we're going to do it next weekend, um, so hopefully I'll get some footage of that. Now, I have no idea if anybody will come. Um, I put it up on Facebook, just a couple of posts at the moment, and then during the week I'm going to put more up on Marketplace, sort of showing some of the items that are for sale, and then saying it's part of a garage sale. Try and get some interest. But I have no idea how well it's going to go. But we're going to give it a go. Because it is slightly easier than having to pack it all into a car. And the weather. I don't know what the weather's like where you are. But it's been absolutely terrible here. You can't get half an hour of it being dry. I need to like jet wash the garden and do some gardening. But it's just raining all the time. Um, so, yeah, now this here is, you know, it's hardly anything compared to what I've actually got to sell. But I can't fit it all in here at once. And uh, so, I just have to do it bit by bit. And if it's a success, I can do another garage sale. So that's where I am on that. And the house did go on the market this week, went um, on Thursday, after a lot of harassment on my side to the estate agents because I really wanted it on the market for bank holiday weekend because that's when people are going to be looking so 
anyway, it went live. So we're making a start. Yes, let's go and show you what I've been doing in the front room. So after I brought everything out of the garage that I didn't want to sell, um, well, I'll show you. So I've started putting things in boxes. So those boxes down there are of my son's things. Then I have more boxes here that I'm just filling with things that I take off shelves. So what I'm doing now is, so all of these came out of the garage, is I'm emptying this cabinet so I can put all the folders here so these are all actually empty ones, but I don't know if I'm going to need them yet or not. But they're light, they can be thrown away at the last minute if needs be. Um, so I'm going to clear this, put all the files up, and make so that there's some room here, and then box everything else. So, like I've taken all the photos off and wrapped those up and start boxing them. Um, and I've got, maybe you find this strange, but I keep all my doggies here. Um, when they passed away so um, hopefully my younger son will my younger son will take those and look after them for me um, yes yeah, so I'm just going to get on with that and uh, and then like I said I just go around the house finding things that I don't want to keep which isn't a lot really because you know all my ornaments I really like like you know all these things I, I got them they mean something to me I got like this from China these are obviously from Venice. Uh, my Mexican hat. You know, these are all things I, do, I just don't want to get rid of. Um, and one day I might want them all back. So I am keeping those things. Um, yeah, we'll see how much stuff I've got for storage and all my pictures. But anyway, we're, we're making progress. And this is really quite satisfying. So it's my first box, finished, packed up, ready for storage. It's got my dad's stuff in it, my Auntie Nell's stuff, my grandmother's things, uh, things that I'm just not going to dispose of. Uh, so that's one box down, many more to go. So this week has been rather hectic, especially with the garage but I do feel like I've been quite productive on the decluttering process I'm very happy that the garage is finally sorted and uh, you know I have to balance here because I can't just throw things around the house and leave them because it needs to be in some sort of order for if anyone comes to view so that's why the things I'm taking out of the garage I'm trying that I still need to use I'm trying to find homes for them which means I have to clear shelves and pack those up. But I do feel like I'm making progress, finally. Um, and we'll see next week how the garage sale goes. Um, and if it doesn't go well, then we'll, you know, we'll look at other options. But uh, it's worth giving it a try. Um, on another note this week, uh, my brother and wife, uh, invited me to go to Madeira for Christmas which is great now that they've, they've confirmed those plans um, I can ha I now have in my mind um, what my uh, first sort of six to eight months of travel will look like so I'm hoping that the house is sold and I'm moved out and uh, homeless <laughs> by August and um, I've this and I booked a trip to Australia for, uh, quite a while now it's a road trip and uh, so I'm doing that and leaving here mid-August going for two months so I'll do that and then come back say proper goodbyes to my family as I won't then see them for quite a while and then I'm going to go and visit Spain and Portugal and do some exploration there go to Madeira to, for Christmas to meet my brother and wife and uh, we'll be staying with my my sister-in-law's family so that'd be really interesting it'll be really good fun I'm looking forward to it and then from there I'm going to go over to Buenos Aires and Uruguay and uh, maybe another country in South America before I go back to Antigua I have to go back to Antigua because I feel like that's my home um, has been for the last couple of years and it's a strange feeling but I do feel like I you know 
going there it helps keeping me grounded makes me feel like I still have a place that I kind of belong um, and then from there I'm going to be heading off into Asia which I'm super excited about anyway so I've got, I've got rough plans but it is waiting to sell the house so that I can make some firm plans so thank you for watching and um, I, if you have any tips on how I can continue with my decluttering or you have any questions on decluttering a garage which I am sure is the worst room in the house to do. So maybe that's why I feel like I've made progress because I got the worst out of the way. Thankfully. Although I will say the kitchen's a bit challenging as well. And uh, anyhow, till next week uh, with the, when we'll have the garage sale. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you all again soon. Ciao.